Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? Yeah? Good. Uh, so there's a tendency to conduct behind the orchestra. And that's more evident when we get to the Pio Animato, right? Because you start the pizzicato and then it just get, it gets progressively slower. Did you sense that? Yeah. Good. And so so much of this is really better. It really is. This is uh, much more clarity than where we started this week. So good for you. Uh, can we start, just play, do the first phrase? Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to just, your only goal is to stay ahead of the orchestra. Okay. At your tempo, right? So try it, Felicia. Very beginning, please. And stay ahead of them. Keep going. This was good. So there was just a little moment, la da di, where it kind of stopped. Right. right. So now you feel that sensation? Mm -hmm. Do it again. That was excellent. I want you to stay ahead of them the entire four bars. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, stay ahead of them. Great, great. How does that feel? <coughs> yeah? yeah? Good. Well, it's certainly much more effective, right? So there are a lot of things we could do with the crescendos and shapes and all this, subito pianissimo, but that's the essence of conducting, right? Uh, because otherwise, we're just following them, and they're, they're in charge, which in some cases is good, but, but it'll slow down because they're good musicians, and they want to they wanna keep their distance from us. And so, so, so if we slow down, then they slow down, and then it all kind of disintegrates. Now, let's go to the Pocopio Animato if we can. I thought your tempo was lovely. But you have to keep spinning it forward. You have to keep going. And you can't wait for the first here because we've already discovered that this is kind of a trap, isn't it? Once this is set up, if this, is, if this doesn't have momentum, then it gets detached. So I want you to keep going, all right? Poco più animato, por favore. Go. Keep going. Good, excellent. That is so good. Good for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, who's got the now? Who's got the important stuff? Now that we've got this going, who is it that's really? And then, yep, yeah, exactly, exactly good. So now the next step in this progression would be to keep the tempo, but, but be able to keep the tempo while we're singing with these guys. Mm -hmm. Because right now, it looks like you're conducting whatever this is right here, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so, while I'm keeping this going, while my ears are with the pizzicato and not slowing down. So see if you can stay engaged with the first, because you gave them a lovely cue, but then you abandoned them. It was a, you, you, and it was looked like this. Good luck, right? <laughs> and then, right. So, so you so try. So Felicia, you're doing great. Okay. When the violin comes in, maybe Gary just said this. Instead of this, give them this and keep your hand there, which suggests you want them to continue the sound while you're beating. Otherwise, we have come in, but they actually play a long line. Okay. Yeah. Just stay with them. Right. Stay with them over here. Good. Now cellos. Keep 
going. Okay, very good, excellent. This is so good, this was really good. Yeah, cool, good for you. And, and so the next step then, and this is hard, I realize, because uh, there's a vulnerability that happens there, but if you look at them, or at least in their general direction, right, that, engage, that engages them. I mean, I looked over, and it was about time for the cellist to look up, and Ethan was just looking at you, waiting for whatever, whatever you wanted to say, right? And good musicians will be interested in what you have to say, and if you can, if you can connect with them, just like you are with me, then they're, they're lovely people, right? And the ones that aren't, you can fire. <laughs> or hopefully they'll graduate, right? Can we, can, we, can, we start on the, can we start on the cello tune? So, Felicia, you're doing great. Um, how is this built? First there's a tune in the lower strings, and then what happens in the next measure? We do. I think you heard it. I don't think you knew it, but you heard it. Okay, I'll tell you. The first violins are playing an echo of it. So, could we try, a little tricky, Back to these guys, and then these guys. Yeah, let's try, okay? And don't slow down. You did a beautiful job through the violins. Now let's keep it spinning. Okay, good, great, good for you, good for you. So this was good. So now what's happening a little bit is every beat three gets a little slower. Yeah. Da, da, dee, da, da, and then we go ahead. So this idea, uh, it's okay if you think in circles or whatever it helps, whatever it helps to keep it going. The most important thing is just to not rebound too much. One, two, and three, and one. So it just goes right on to beat one and beat three, right? Can you do that again? It was lovely. And just, but our, our primary, our primary responsibility is to keep it singing, keep it spinning, right? Keep going. Two and three and keep going. Keep going. Go. go. Ah, very good. Excellent. That was good. That was good. So what happens here now? How does this change? Okay. Cool. No, you're doing great. And so now we have to prepare this inside so it doesn't catch us by surprise. And a two and a three and a one. And then the climb starts. Just like in Dvorak, right? Here's another sequence, right? Ooh, hoo, 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 right? So, can we, uh, where, where should we start? Um, can we start pick up to measure 30? Well, will you tell me where you'd like to start? Um, can we start at um, 38? 38. Let's do it. 38, ladies and gentlemen. What's that measure doing before? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's before the triplets that we just reached. Yeah. Yum, bum, bum, bum. Four bars before that. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, thank you. Keep going. And one, and the two, and the three, and the, there you go. Keep going. Keep going. We 
start again. Stay in the sound. Legato. Here we go. It's okay. Oh, you're doing great. That was lovely, right? It's kind of fun up here, isn't it? <laughs> now, let's just talk. We have a couple of minutes, I think. Let's talk about this little recitative here where the violas have the tune, but let's address everybody else because here you're going to have to be more clear, right? So downbeat, two, three, downbeat, two, three, one, two, one, Two, right? So could we have everybody except for the violas uh, on that forte uh, quarter note downbeat, measure 66 it is. So can you try that for me, please? Two, three. Two, three, one, two, and one, two. There we go. That's the idea. Cool. Now, could you conduct the violas? Can we start pick up to that bar now with just the violas? So you're going to start on three. That means you're going to prepare on what beat? On two. Exactly. Two. <laughs> so I just about uh, gave uh, Cardinal a heart attack, right? <laughs> because you've got, to, you've got to breathe for them. One. <laughs> or else they'll herniate themselves trying to get to the string, all right? All right. Once more. Ah, so so what did they want to do at the end? Oh, the end a little slow down, right? Yeah, yeah. Because there's so much pent up energy in this big climb and this viola. Here's another example of the, of the composer building up all this energy and then it just <coughs> has to dissipate somehow before we start again. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening here, right? So now, please, can we put it all together? Violas have the pickup. Everybody else has our uh, forte downbeat and our little four bar recit. One. Ah, very good. But yeah, you're already a beat ahead of the violas. Yeah, one more time. One and two. And. Very good. Yay. Good job, Felicia.